Hey CBB, uh, I just thought I'd put up a video on uh, bench pressing um, and what better place to do it but the Elite Physique Dungeon right here. Um, a couple months ago, Ted put up a video on how to bench press. As a response, a lot of guys were going on about how do I bench press? How do... It was a good video, but um, there's a difference between Ted's way of doing things, which is to gain strength, I find, and the way that I do things here with Elite Physique clients, and that's mostly to gain muscle. Um, like I said, Ted's video is good, but um, I think gaining strength is only a small portion uh, of gaining size. Sure, you got to gain some strength, but you want to ensure the muscle is actually doing all the work, um, and you're not, uh, you know, focusing on other things. So for like, um, for example, when powerlifters lift, you hear them often say, it's a full body workout. You know, you should feel it in your calves, your glutes and your hams, your thighs. That's not what bodybuilding is about. Bodybuilding is about feeling it in the chest. Um, so one of the ways you're going to do that is um, when you bench press, you're going to lift your feet off the ground, put them on the bench, or lift them into the air. And it's going to require a bit of a balance probably going to go down a little bit lower in weight but you want to focus on your chest and essentially what you're doing when you do a bench press for size is you want to make the bench press which is a compound movement you want to try to make it into an isolation movement so um, you're basically taking your legs out of the play out of the out of the movement so when you're when you start your your bench press movement Ted mentioned that you know you want to retract your your scapula you don't have to go super super intense with that like as if you're doing a row bringing it back you just want to bring it enough to stabilize the whole reason why guys do that in powerlifting is when they bring their their scapula back they don't have to travel quite as far with the bar that doesn't really matter with the bodybuilding so you just want to do it enough to stabilize everything the bar is basically going to come down to mid to lower pec level and then you're going to arc it up over to your eyes or your nose so basically the bar starts here ends up around there and you're flexing it through the entire movement you're not pressing it up you're not lifting it up it's a, a concentrated you know uh, motion so basically you're coming up flexing 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 right to the top flex um, the movement doesn't have to start at your chest I would recommend um, the bar just coming about a fist length above your chest the bar is going to come down power it up so the movement almost if you're looking at your chest, it's basically going to go boom, you're powering it up. Now, this, um, this baloney about four seconds down, two seconds up, one second pause is a little misleading, almost to the point of being bullshit. What you want to do is flex the muscle explosively to the top, but explosively so that the muscle is doing the contraction, the target muscle. Like you can lift it up using your arms is very very quickly but you're not flexing it with the chest you want to explode with the chest have the chest controlling the motion flex it into a maximum contraction that's where your pause is it's not a pause it's a flex for a count of one not a pause because when you pause you basically take the tension most people take the tension off the muscle they just pause it there you want to bring there and be actively flexing contracting that muscle then you lower it under control and you repeat the rep um, you want to ensure when you're doing your chest workouts that you get a maximum pump going. Very important to drive nutrients in, to just expand everything. You know, I don't know if you believe in the stretching the fascia. I do. Um, you got to get enough blood flow in there. So one of the ways to do that is you want to reduce your rest between your sets. So ideally, when you're working your set, you're going to get to a maximum pump. You're going to come off the bench and you're going to be, you know, a little bit of time, a little bit of a break. It depends how conditioned you are. And you're going to feel your pump start to subside. At that point is when you want to get under the bar and do another set. So that basically your pump is coming up, coming up, coming up like that. What you don't want is to take, get a pump, rest for five minutes, your pump goes away. Your pump back on again, goes away like that. You want to maintain that pump as much as you can in the muscle. So like I said to you, what you're going to have to do is 
As soon as the pump starts to subside, you get under the bar. If you find you're out of breath and you just can't do it, then you better get on and do some cardio and get your cardiovascular conditioning up. Um, let's see what else do I have to say about this. I think that's about it for right now. But the thing is, is you want to make the, mo the movement an isolation movement. Obviously it's not going to be, but what you want to do is try to make as much of it as you can an isolation movement. So that means getting your feet off the bench, or getting your feet off the floor onto the bench, flexing with the chest. So, you know, like I said, when you start the movement, you want to be flexing right from the get-go. So like if you were to lean against the wall and press here, you know, doing a static contraction, you, that's how you want to start the movement. Flex it maximum, under control, pump it up again, just like that. All under control, focusing the whole time on the chest. Um, that's about it for now. If you guys got any questions, um, post them up in the thread. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to get to them right away and get some answers to you guys. But uh, I think that's going to help you guys out a lot with growing a better chest. Talk to you later. Take care.